Welcome back to Modern Fossil. Indeed. I'm Mac. That's Darren. That's me. Um. Yep. So we're gonna be uh, doing. Is the webcam a little? What's wrong with the webcam? It right. It just looks like there's a lot of space right here. Is well, it there's usually I... a lot of space right there. There is usually a lot of space right there. Oh, is there? Yeah. Noticing. The first, noticing the for the first time. Noticing yeah. for the first time. And first, I care about your face. You know, my right. face is not important here. Oh. Yeah. Definitely. Not. Unless you say something like that's foreshadowing, like. Oh my god, Phoenix is gonna die. And you're like, oh you yeah. Know, when I predict everything. I will say like 80% of the things I predicted have come true. I would say so, yeah. Yeah. I would say 80%. But sometimes you have like uh brain dead moments. I I recall like doing Turn About Sisters. Uh, we were talking to Red White uh, Red White, and you're like, I don't think he's the killer. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Make sure you have killing somebody. <laughs> oh god, that's true. Dude, I'll just never forget that episode. I was so tired, I literally like could not keep my head up. Yeah. Watching that back, it's hilarious because I'm literally just like this. And you had to wake me up. <laughs> I literally was asleep for probably like three minutes of dialogue. Came to. <laughs> No, oh, you just missed the most important plot line. All right, we're gonna do doing with this investigation. Hopefully, to finish it today. Let's do it. Good sir. Y yes. Why did you take this picture? This is one of those. What are they called? Those hidden camera pictures. No, no, it, it's not one of those at all. Such an unforgivable offense. You were handed over to me. N no, I won't. I've got to remember to watch it when I'm talking about Pearl. I thought it was one of those people. Those who intend harm upon the spirits receive harm in return. It's karma at work. It seems that he was one, the one who took the nurse's life. Wouldn't you agree? I guess that's possible. Oh yeah, not. I can hardly believe Mystic Maya has become like this. <sighs> Directly influenced by the likes of you. When becoming caught up in a situation such as this. I'm sorry. Hey, hold on. How is all this my fault? I told her so many times, as I've also told Pearl. Do not associate with strange old men you don't know. Well, that shouldn't apply to me then, especially since I'm hardly an old man yet. Yeah, talk. Uh, by the way, what is this room exactly? The channeling chamber? This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes when an inexperienced medium calls an especially strong spirit, that spirit may become violent and revolt, as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself steps inside. Aside. Ah, you motherfucker. To put it simply, uh, put it another way, the spirit is borrowing the medium's body, good sir. But isn't that extremely dangerous? An experienced medium has a little problem controlling the spirit. But Maya, I mean, Mystic Maya. That was her first channeling. And that was why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that would be uh, calling danger upon the client himself. I am grateful that one of our heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible incident. And that would be... That folding screen there. It is the Quran. Uh, sec uh, secret, secret writings. God. A meeting. It destroys my... Uh, cognition when I think of food. Yeah, too spicy. <laughs> too spicy, man. <laughs> Along with the Kurain, the uh, sacred urn, they owe this village <laughs> most treasured possessions. <laughs> if I ever found out that something had happened to either one, all oh, the humanity. Odd for her to be worrying about the folding screen at a time like this. I guess this isn't just some dilapidated old screen after all. Dude, dilapidated, one of my favorite words. I just had to yeah. throw that out there. I'm a, big, I'm a big word guy. <laughs> You're a big word guy. No, like, no I'm an English no, guy. No, like for real, like a big word guy. Like, 
you know, I, I have a strong uh, reaction to words that I deem good and words that I deem bad. Like, give me a word. Yep. Give you a word? Yeah, just give me a word. Uh, I'll tell you how I feel about it. I got strong feelings about words. Inconsequential. Inconsequential. So this is one of those words that it's trying. It's like mm. really trying. But it can just it it can just be said incorrectly too much. You know, in, you know, like I don't know. So it's one of those words like respect, but also like do a little less. Hmm. Okay. Puffer fish. Puffer fish. <sighs> See, it's when you say it, right? Mm. Yeah. When I say puffer fish, that that actually it elicits an emotional response from right here. Mm -hmm. Love that word because you get the. You get f twice. Puffer fish. Oh, that's nice. See, that's a nice word. Mm. Like my favorite word? My favorite word. What? Serendipity. Mm. Serendipity yeah. is such a word, right? It also sounds like kind of like a like an old old time uh, timey miner, a uh, coal miner type of guy. Oh. Serendipity. A serendipity. Yeah. Oh yeah, but it also sounds like the hip new cholesterol medicine. Mm. Right? Uh, talk to your um, doctor physician today about taking serendipity, right? Yeah. Like, serendipity you know, is just, it's a jack of all trades. Okay. What about. Who gives a shit? Read the line. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is Pearl today? Mr. Wright. Yes? In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl. Has the spiritual power to become a master. That's very impressive. Until now, the women of the branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But Pearl is different. Her spiritual strength is so great. It's even more greater than some of the main family. Yes, Pearl is a channeling prodigy, and it's the pride of the branch family. Wow, she's really fired up now. In any case. Our world is so different from yours. Perhaps it's, it's best for you to quit, Mr. Quit? Quit what? It's a beautiful and expensive folding screen. It also looks quite old. There seems to be some sort of sacred text written on it, but I can't read it. This is... It's a hole! Has it been made by a bullet? Folding Bing screen! screen. Uh, about eight, eight inches, inches off, off the ground, ground is a small hole, hole that looks like, like a bullet hole. hole. Well then, I do believe it is time for me to take my leave. Alright, uh, please tell Maya I said hi! What was that? Uh, I mean, Mystic Maya, of course! I will tell her. <sighs> Is there a kung fu sequence? I think it'd be cool if Phoenix did a little kung fu. Oh, uh, let's you know, wait until you know, broke some boards. Yeah, let's uh, wait until the seventh game. Before, wait for real? Before we get a kung fu sequence. Seventh. You know, just me thinking about it. You know, uh, you know, it's like. Not that it might happen, you know, just like, you know, if it hypothesis. did happen, it'd be in the seventh. If it, it, it would happen, it would be in the seventh game, yeah. <sighs> Little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school? School? Oh, hey, like, you're that guy from yesterday, the, uh, Dentist guy. Oh, of course. The lady who also shares a characteristic with my belly button. Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm a lawyer. That's right. Um, Mr. Smith, Esquire. Oh, shit, I love it when people say Esquire. Mm -hmm. That's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. Uh, m my name is right. Smith, right. Well, I got, like, three letters, at least. I don't think she gets the point. Anyway, uh, why are you here? So, like, I studied this thing called parapsychology at this college, and 
Um, you told me about that yesterday, the sesame allergy, too. What I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, uh, clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? Uh, so, like, what was I talking about again? If Lada ever wanted another... Genuine, mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. I don't know what you're confused about with that line. Well, because I was looking at this screen, and the quotations look like an asterisk. So I was like... What the fuck am I supposed to do? Make a noise that sounds like a genuine mysterious <laughs> phenomenon? I was like, what was that? <laughs> so, why are you still here today? Like, there's we so have much a cat joining us in the camera right in the top corner there. Yep, there's cat. <laughs> there's like, there's so much for me to like study here. Like what? Like. The medium's chain, or like, how they inherit their spiritual power. I suppose this village is a real thing after all. So like, I asked if I could stay here for like, a little longer. She sure seems like the carefree type, at least on the surface. Of course, I forgot how to show my badge. Would you take a look at this? Hey, it's like one of those little badges people in Congress all wear. No, 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 I'm a lawyer. L. A. W. Y. E. R. Lawyer. lawyer. <laughs> like... So is that what you are? Have you heard about the murder? It's like, totally scary. She says with a silly smile plastered on her face. So, do you know anything about it that might help? Somehow, I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. I got it. You got it. She can shrink herself. Very, very small size. Okay, Ant Man situation? Yes. She snuck in through that little hole in that folding wall. Okay. Ro she grew. Bang, bang, dead. Okay. Went back down, snuck back through. But the hole is on the folding screen. So if you go to the through the hole, you're still in the same room. I'll let you think about it. What, what they don't know is that the hole goes through the wall as well. It's just so she had to get a straight shot. Oh, okay. About the victim, Dr. Gray, Gray's Anatomy. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, I think I asked you about him like yesterday too. That's right. Her reaction yesterday when I asked was... You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I, I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? And what was all that talk about him earlier? <laughs> well, uh... Like a long, long time ago, I was like, a patient. Yeah. Hell. Okay. She is definitely holding something from me. Hiding, hiding. <laughs> She's definitely hiding <laughs> something. Hiding, it's hiding. <laughs> like, is something dumb? Move! I hope. Yeah, move! Move! Oh, this chick is creepy. Mm. I hope she's a killer. That'd be awesome. <laughs> That'd be so awesome, bro. She's like seven. I know, but wouldn't it be like cool? Ah! <laughs> you surprised me, even though I've been staring at you the last 20 seconds. And uh, how are you today? Hmm. I guess she isn't open to uh, friendly chatting. Huh? She's still holding something in her hand. It looks like the same thing she had yesterday. 
Oh, yeah. Maya said to give this to you. Bitch. Ah, I'm in trouble now! If more you see them like this, I'll be the next one they channel you! That's... That's Mystic Maya's. Huh? She, 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 she actually spoke. Who are you? I'm Phoenix Wright. I, uh, worked with Maya. You worked with Mystic Maya? You... You're Mr. Nick, right? <laughs> uh, excuse me? I bet I know who she picked Nick up from. I know who you are. Oh, God, dude. Oh, God. I that voice is a thing of nightmares. I know who you are. That voice is literally terrifying. <laughs> you Oh. You're Mr. Maya's special someone. <laughs> What? So then, of course, you're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? Oh, that's what you're going to do, right? <laughs> <laughs> is it the voice, or is it the fact I I'm doing the voice? That's uh, making it weird. It's, no, it's. It, I think it's. It is such a creepy voice. <laughs> like it sounds like. It sounds like you're, you know, the the principal for Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like, or the teacher, or whatever. He sounds like you were playing little kid version of him. <laughs> <laughs> like they did Baby Odd Parents. You're like, oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's literally terrifying. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Oh wow, it's like a beautiful fairy tale. <laughs> and just look, the shining brightly in your eyes. Must be true love. What? Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little creepy voice kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Oh, what a wonderful relationship. <laughs> it's, it sounds just like that kid from the Steel Samurai case. <laughs> it just sounds just like him, yeah. only just wispier. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's, it's so creepy. Because you know, all women talk with like raspy voices, and they use a lot of their uh, lungs when they're talking. Of course. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, with the kid from uh, with uh, Cody Hackins, mm. it's like this. But this is like this. Oh, it's so. It's so. Oh, it's, you know, it's it's completely different. You know why you're making that voice? Because she is the killer. Yep. That's it. Wait, I uh, I mean. We aren't... Things aren't like... I can even do a better voice. Hey, hey, I can tell you a good person. <laughs> you might as well. All right, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. <laughs> you're you're going to lose your throat. I will, because she talks a lot. <laughs> you're going to get a track and deck to me. <laughs> if the cat sneezes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pearl. Are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow. I had no idea Maya was so... revered. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's style, I get mad. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, I mean, it's okay. Because... Because you're special to her. Where in the world did she get an idea like that? Tom Bloom. <laughs> By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes. For example, I study the Kurang technique. Ah, I get it. No, 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 no. I'm a lawyer. A, 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 a lawyer. Uh, yeah? Yep. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? Um, <laughs> none that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Maya did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. 
So, what's that you've got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Hmm? If you want it, I can give it to you. Give me it! Alright, well, shit. if you really want to give it to me... <laughs> you look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one, too. Black key! An old steel key! A green jewel is set in the center of the key's grip! Um, Mr. Nick? Yes, Pearls? I can call you that, right? You're too cute to just call you Pearl. Uh, you're, you're unsure of yourself. Continue. <laughs> sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magatana? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept it as something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual en energy. Spiritual energy? Oh. Uh... You mean like Jesus on an exercise bike? <laughs> <laughs> Please take this. I'm sure it'll be helpful. What do you mean? I just plugged it up and it's now glowing. It would let you see people's secrets. Holy shit, that's like extremely useful in my line of work. <laughs> See people's secrets. Yes. If it's alright with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Makatama's power to you when we meet someone hiding a secret. She vanished! <laughs> Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Ah, uh, she's like. Uh, no, they can't. Is she like your daughter? What? No! How old do you think I am? I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> I'm about to go to the other place, which is this place, which has this guy in it. Listen, it's a fine mistake. It's not like you're reading off the script or anything. No, I'm not at all. Hey, it's you, pal. So uh, you you're gonna be his lawyer, I bet. Yes. Oh. I really feel bad for you, pal. Just this once, I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a cute kid. <laughs> I'm not scary, honest. Wow, I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. How's this? It's a real genuine pistol. Detective Gumshoe, what are you doing showing her something that dangerous? Oh, oh, sorry. Hey, look. It's my attorney's badge. Ha <laughs> ha, good one, pal. You're always good for a laughing the little badge. Uh, but a real man, a real man has a police badge. Uh, um, Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? I was wondering if I could see it too. Ah, no, it's okay. It's, it's, you know, it's not that important anyway. What about Maya and the charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're talking about proof, We've got a few pieces. You've got proof? Yeah, pal. That puffy head photographer is gonna testify tomorrow. You must be talking about Lada. Actually, speaking of Lada, I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Fuck. Lada's hot picture. Hot pictures. I wonder what her camera captured. Besides, I must have realized by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than Maya Faye could have done it. <laughs> ah! What am I supposed to say to pearls now? 
What's the problem? What's the problem with calling up pearls? About Dr. Gray. It feels like you just puke in your mouth every time you try to yeah, say it. Yeah, I am. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. His face was all over those uh, tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year and... Huh? Could've sworn I had... I cut an article out, but I... I guess I must've lost it. He's searching through his pockets. Boy, are those big. Mmm. Mmm. It looked really interesting, too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article? I think Dr. Gray might have brought a copy to the office when he came by. Oh, let's do it tomorrow's this. About Maya's trial tomorrow. I got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah. Bad news and, uh, even worse news. What do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. Hi, right, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is... Prosecutor Von Karma. What the fuck? What? Von Karma? What the fuck? I'm back! He's literally a... Manfred Von Karma. He was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. <laughs> he never lost a case in the 40 years of his career, and he raised a fearsome disciple. <laughs> the horrible aftertaste of the evil he force-fed me is something I'll never forget. It turns out they thought I was insane, so they let me go. <laughs> I'm back to prosecuting. What the fuck, dude? I thought he killed someone. And he did, yes. Wait a sec. But didn't Von Karma stand trial and... That's where the other piece of bad news comes in. The Von Karma yeah. you're facing tomorrow was actually his... successor. Successor? So, um, who is this successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal, it's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. This kid became a prosecutor real young, like 13, and hasn't lost a trial since. That's what they call a prodigy, pal. Hmm. Kid, huh? Wait a sec! Thirteen? The kid became a prosecutor at the age of thirteen? I mean, a prodigy like that? I, I would have heard something about that. Oh, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. <laughs> that country's got a lot of stuff. It's a great place to develop a person's talents. Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Ugh. Still, all it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma. And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. Stop it! Get a grip on yourself, Phoenix! None of that matters anymore! Now that he's gone! <laughs> um, Dr. Gray uh, brought this over to my office the other day, and... Hey! It's that news story. Uh, the, the, the one about the malpractice suit. Fourteen patients died, and it caused a huge stink. Literally, a bunch of fourteen dead bodies. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Mm. Oh, here we go. I brought my own clipping with me today. Here, pal. This is for you. Alright, thanks. Those people Clinic 82! Mimi Miney! Nurse at Gray Surgical, Surgical Clinic, Clinic died after falling asleep, asleep at the wheel. wheel. Mimi my Nemo. Okay. Where am I going? Okay. Well, leaving. Yeah. This is 29, right? On the recording? On the bottom right? But our timer ran out. <laughs> How the hell is it 29? 30. It says 30. Does it say 39? 30. 
Okay, so 30 now. Yeah, so that's it. Even though we're very close to the end of the investigation, I say we could call it now. Okay. Yep. On the next, next episode, episode of Modern Fossil, truly Phoenix, beating right? the Ace investigation. Attorney, justice for all. We'll finish up that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You, you know the fucking drill. Yep. Uh, uh, everything. Subscribe, comment, all that shit. Yep. Uh, Goodbye. Uh, 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 uh,